Today I'm going to be talking about white balance on the Panasonic AGAC 168 camcorder. I believe that this tutorial can also be applied to the 160 and the 130 models as well. To adjust the white balance, we need to make sure that this camera is in manual mode and not auto. So to do that, we need to flip this switch next to the audio adjustment panel to manual. To set white balance, we need to make sure that the camera is properly exposed. To do that, we can use the waveform monitor. It's a good idea to use a waveform monitor and not judge the LCD screen for exposure as the brightness controls and other stuff on the colors on the LCD screen can be misguiding. So a waveform monitor is one, of, is one of the best ways to check for exposure. So we see that the image is, is underexposed. I'm going to try and open the aperture just as much as possible, iris. So it's still underexposed, so we need to increase the gain. A little overexposed. Okay, now it's properly exposed. We can also see that the white balance is very off by looking at the vector scope. If the vector scope is in this exact center, then we know it's we're pointing at a white subject. So if I put a piece of paper in front of it, you'll see that it starts moving towards the center. But we still need to adjust the white balance. There are two channels of manual white balance, A and B. Both function identically. To set white balance, we need a white card or white object, e.g. a sheet of paper or maybe a t-shirt. So we're going to place that object in front of the camera lens. We can still have the vector scope on there to demonstrate that this is indeed a white piece of paper. So we press the white balance button, which is in front of the LCD monitor underneath, right there. Press it once. And now we see that the vector scope reads white in the center. If we want to demonstrate it again, press the white, white balance button in the front. It'll say white balance B, channel B active, and then it'll switch to OK. There might be other errors if it doesn't say OK, meaning uh, subject is underexposed or overexposed. So you need to adjust your exposure first. You can do the exact same thing on channel A, or you can use the preset. So if we go under a, we see that it's really uh, off off balance. If you go to PRST or preset, it just simply switches to auto white balance by factory default. If we already know what color temperature we're going to be shooting in, let's say 5600K or maybe 7200K, then it's better to dial that value in manually using the VAR variable white balance function. So we can enable that by pressing the menu button, scrolling to SW mode, which is, stands for switch mode. Go scroll down till we get to ATW. So right now it's on PRST. You can either, this, this needs to be off. So you can turn that off or you can put it to one of the channels. I like mine on channel A because sometimes I don't have time to adjust white balance if I'm in a quick shooting situation. So now with that, we get different options. So if you press this switch in front, the, the preset that comes with the camera is 32K, 3200K, 5600K, and then next if you press it again, you're on VAR. So using the function knob right here, you can uh, go to cooler temperatures. You can go all the way down to 2400K. And you can go up all the way as high as 9900K. As high as 900, So this room, this this lighting I'm shooting in is about 
5300 Kimmy.